Hello, my name is Grant Fritchie. I'm the Scary DBA. I work for Redgate Software. Today I want to talk to you about backups, cloud backups. Specifically, I want to talk to you about Windows Azure SQL database backups. They're pretty cool. The fact that we can do a backup out there, the fact that we even whether or not we need a backup out there, we do. Everybody needs backups. You're going to have a backup, right? There's no question that for some of your data, simple redundancy is not enough. You actually need a backup. Fine. We have the capability to do backups on Azure SQL databases, but it's a little tricky. The fact is, is that your normal backup process is compliant with transactions. It is transactionally aware. It very much takes them into account. The standard backup mechanism provided by Microsoft through the Windows Azure SQL database is not technically aware of your transactions. So there's a couple little tricks we have to do to make sure that we get a transactionally consistent backup for your restores. Let's take a look at how to get that done. This is the Azure portal. And if I want to back up a database, what I need to do is go down here and manage my databases. Now let's go to a particular database. We'll go to movie management. And if I want to back up this database, what I'm going to do is not create a page by page copy that's transactionally consistent like I would with an on-prem database. Instead, what I'm going to do is create what's called a backpack. The backpack is a combination of the DAC pack, which is a full database schema export with a data export. Now the backpack combines both, zips them together, and you can take a look at them and do whatever you need to do. But we're just gonna create it nice and simple. First thing I do is I have to go to the management portal, connect up to my master database, not to the database I'm interested in managing. And then I'm going to create a database copy. Now I'm gonna, I've been playing with this, so I'm gonna create one called database movie management copy as copy of, and I supply my server and my database. And now when I run this, what it's going to do is copy this database over to another database. Now, if we go back here and take a look, we refresh the screen here, we're gonna see whether or not the backup has, the, the copy has completed. Now that may take a little while. It may be very, very quick. It may take a little while. It depends on your server. It depends on the load going on in the server. And um, that's the backup that we're running right now. Here's our copy. So let's take a look at the dashboard and see how it's doing. So it is still in a copying state. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go back over here to this one that I created earlier. And this is um, just another copy of that same movie management database. And we're gonna take advantage of this and we're gonna go ahead and use it. What we're gonna do is we're gonna run an export. So if I click on export, it'll open this up. Now it's, it's automatically setting up stuff and it's trying to move things around. What I'm going to do though, is I'm going to change my blob storage. I'm gonna create a brand new storage account just for this demo. Uh, I do have to supply my uh, password. which passed just fine because this is a full copy of my database. I'm gonna to go to my next screen and now it's gonna create the storage account. Now I need to give it a name. Uh, since I am the scary DBA, we'll call it scary backup. That works. And we'll put it in the movie management, uh, management, never type during demos, into the movie management container. And then I'll make sure that it's in um, the, the same region as my database so that I'm not getting charged for this data movement. So now that's done. And so what it's doing now, as you can see down here below, it is doing a full export of that database, moving it from the database that it's in. First it exports the schema, then it exports all of the data. And the reason that we, again, just to repeat, the reason that we did split it off and make a copy of the database was in order to make sure that the data we're exporting is transactionally consistent. So by creating a copy of the database first, we can do all this. So this is running. We can actually go down here and look at the pro progress and see the details and see what's occurring. And it'll take a little while because it's moving the stuff around and it's dependent on the load and the amount of data that we're moving and all the exports, but it'll finish up shortly. Once it finishes, you can go to the storage and you'll be able to see 
um, the storage that you've got, you know, either I've created this earlier one where I did a scary backup and I created a backup there, or um, you'll be able to see the, the scary backup that I created just now for you, um, which we can't see anything yet because it's still occurring even now as we speak. So I'm not going to mess with it a whole lot, but you can go in here, check the containers. Oh, look, and the backup has completed while we were waiting. That's excellent. And so now here is my backup, and you can see it. It's a backup of movie management, the way I created it. And um, we can even go in there and take a look at exactly what it is. And there it is. There's my backup. I can retrieve that. I can download it to my local machine. I could take that backup and put, pour it, put it into SSMS. Or I can reverse the process to import this database back up into my SQL Azure database. In a nutshell, that's how you do backups through Azure um, through through the Azure database. Thanks for watching. My name is Grant Fritchie. I'm the Scary DBA. I work for Redgate Software.